Hey guys, Filthy here. I wanted to share with you something a little bit different we're gonna be doing on my channel in the near future here. Uh, I'm planning on releasing fairly regular Crowfall PVP videos. Uh, Crowfall is a sandbox PVP MMO, uh, which means it's very open-ended, designed to uh, allow players to shape the world that they're in, and it's based around playing against and fighting other teams of players. Uh, it's in pre-alpha right now, uh, and there's a big content patch scheduled uh, coming up somewhere in the either late late January to early February is when it's supposed to be happening. Um, this has been a game that I've been following and backing for years and it's finally got to a place where I can have playable content that I'm having a lot of fun with and I want to share it with you guys. I'm not quite sure how streaming it will work quite yet. Um, there's a lot of issues with streaming any sort of PvP uh, group oriented game like this. You give up a lot of information by live streaming it. Um, I'm probably going to try still, but I'm not sure quite how it's going to work. But YouTube is a very, very good medium for me releasing content on that. Now, we've only been here a couple seconds now watching this, but if you're anything like me, you'll find, uh, especially as a new player, a new observer, new viewer of this type of content, you'll find it very visually overwhelming. And I wanted to do uh, just a little breakdown of how to watch Crowfall PvP what to focus on what's going on on the screen. So I'm just gonna take a pause here. Uh, we'll take a look at what's happening here. I'm gonna outline some of the key UI elements and then talk about kind of what makes Crow so, so much fun. All right, so on the left, this is my group window. This is my uh, groups are limited to five right now. Um, these are the people in my group, Violator, Dern, Rhea, Rhea and Shruti. Um, the red is the debuffs active on them. The green is the buffs active on them. The green bars are their health total. My health total is there on green. Blue in this character, it's, it's for each character it's different, but for this character, this is your mana bar, it's your class resource, and the orange, uh, the yellow beneath it is my stamina bar. Uh, you use stamina for a number of different abilities in this game, it depends on the class, but these are basically my three class resources, and then this is a food meter to show how well fed my character is, which has minor impacts on things like regeneration. Up top here, um, this is mostly going to be covered when I release future videos, but this is essentially your location as an XY coordinate, uh, as well as the server you're on, the ping, etc. Stuff there, it's not particularly relevant for reviewers. This here is a chat window, also will be covered in the near future. This is my actual skill bar. These are the active skills I have available to me. When it's blue, it means I'm in non combat stance, and when it's orange, it means I'm in my uh, range tray here. There's also a melee tray, although this character doesn't have one, uh, which is going to be very similar to that. But these are basically my the skills that I have uh, the ability to use right now and the remaining cooldowns on them. Uh, a skill like this with two floating ones above it is a, uh, a combo skill where it may have, a, this one has a three part combo and these are the second and third parts of that combo on cooldown right now. Um, it has two branches so you can go EEE -E -E or EFF basically to for my, my skills to cast it and we'll have branching ones. You'll have different cooldowns there so if you're wondering what those are. Um, up top here, this interface here represents the points. Currently, Crowfall is set up in a three faction system uh, where the campaign has a finite life. Uh, unfortunately, my logo is blocking this right now, but beneath it here, you can see it says 28 days and zero hours left. That's the duration on this campaign. The campaigns are deliberately designed to end so that players can win or lose campaigns, and the rewards and rule sets of these campaigns change. In other words, they might have a short campaign with very high uh, scoring for whatever it might be, killing players or avoiding deaths or capturing points, or whatever it happens to be. At the moment, they're running a fairly simple rule set just for the testing purposes of it, but you can see the re relative scores of each of the three factions. Coming up in uh, probably February, but maybe January, uh, they're going to be releasing uh, Guild v Guild as opposed to faction versus faction, and I'm going to be interested to see how the scoring system works for that, but I'm really excited about playing in that. Um, this here is the ownership of the fort we're in. Um, currently, most of the PvP centers around locations. These locations have vulnerability windows where they can swap hands from one faction to another. Uh, the f there's forts and keeps. The forts are the smaller of those two fortified structures. Uh, and we, this, this faction, this gray faction in the middle is Chaos. Chaos owns this faction right now uh, and owns this fort 100%. This is during the vulnerability window, which means that the other faction currently um, balance attacking us are capable of stealing this fort from underneath us while uh, by basically capping it from underneath us. So that's what the, the full blue circle means. These are the points for the various ones in that. Um, you can see that the siege endo window for this fort ends in 24 minutes. Uh, and let's take a look visually what's going on on the field. Uh, the red bars are hostiles. The, the shield over the top denotes their faction. And then the little mini shield beneath uh, to the right of their faction represents their clan, uh, so their guild. So as you get into this more, especially as we start playing PvP that's not faction-based but uh, group um, guild-based, the guild, guild element is going to be really, really relevant. Uh, friendlies have blue bars, um, and 
again location up over here as well these are the buffs and debuffs active on my character at the moment um, the bloodline re represents my class my the race of my character uh, season of spring is the timing of the campaign the campaigns follow a spring summer fall winter style thing and there's different changes to the world generally about harvesting and crafting uh, it gets harder as the world comes to a close um, the field of burn represents what class I'm on so you can tell what class I am from the buffs active over here and then these secondary right here weapon finesse righteousness critical dodge mortal sin represent uh, the kind of uh, there's the way the class system works in this is not only do you have a, a race and a class but you also have discipline runes that you can plug into your character that give you unique abilities and those represent what discipline runes I have then these other smaller ones with the timers on them represent the active buffs on me right now and the red ones represent active debuffs on me right now um, yeah, a lot of stuff to keep track of on the screen. The uh, green circles are friendly circles, uh, generally healing, but not always. And the reds are hostile circles, generally damage, but not always. Sometimes debuffs, etc. Okay, a lot there visually, but uh, explaining it even simply for the, those of you who are watching for the first time, I think is probably going to help a lot for what's going on. Generally, in the PvP content in this game, uh, the time to kill is nice and slow, which I really, really like in an MMO like this, which means that healing is very powerful. So the way that the game is designed for players to excel is by group tactics to kill targets, mass debuffing, disables on healers, uh, separating individuals, watching for positioning, this type of thing. So that's going to be a type of PvP that goes on for that. And uh, as I let the video run, and I'll probably let the full video run after the intro here, you guys can get a sense of what that sounds like on comms to see how chaotic it is and the type of calls that are being made pick on this guy this guy's out of position debuffs on this guy that kind of thing okay guys for the second half of this video i'm going to show you a 10v10 uh, with full voice comms included so you can hear the shot calling the positioning calls the setups the coordination to try to get kills uh, you can see the uh, buffs and debuffs affecting everybody uh, and just kind of see the crowfall fight from the perspective of uh of the player actually involved in it and hopefully with the knowledge that we've talked about in the beginning of the video you'll have a little bit more sense of what's going on and with the full voice comms included you can make sense of that situation and actually enjoy the footage for what a cool fight it actually was and as an additional little curveball it will be on a melee character as opposed to a ranged character so you'll see a totally different perspective uh of fighting in this game uh, from being directly inside the group of people as opposed to uh, outside the group of people attacking in anyways hope you guys enjoy Cut back again. Cut back well, again. Burnax. decent combines better. Switching it to our ranged out here in the. I dash is open. I uh, he blanked in. You want to try sim back again? Uh, yeah, rain dog, rain dog, rain, rain dog. dog. Have Group is rooted. He's old and dog ulti. Same rain dog. I'm gonna go ham on rain dock here. Go. We have shield breaker for him. I tried it with. Stay on rain dock, rain dock, rain dock. Holy warrior for Galvia. I just dodged him. Cover Going for Dark. Going back inside. Over the back line. They're good. Sinmac is our target. Or I dash, I dash. Getting out of these circles again. Getting circled down on push. Negantes is a good target here. Far right side. I'm um, pretty. Nagantis, Nagantis, half HP. Look for Fury, Spiritual, look for both Robot, Galvia. Switching to Sinmac. Shieldbreaker, Sinmac. Finish, finish. Knocking down. Oh, he's immune. Any guys. Good, nice. Uh, okay, I want Rain Dog next. 
Rain dog backside of the Pergal via Filthy Robo. Yeah, got a damn bone on him. Oh, I just nice. fucked him. I dash, I dash, I dash, I dash. That whole group is rooted. Lots of get out of there, get out of there, guys. Lots of circles, lots of circles now. Back out of it. Come uh, east towards Galvia. Uh, okay, I want, I want, I want I dash though. Okay, bones on him. Oh, oh shit, I fucked oh him up. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. god. yes. Okay, stomp. Um, I don't know who's next target. I had combine. To combine, combine, combine. Okay. Nice. Okay, I'm getting out. Yeah, I'll get through rescue on you. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Dern, I'm out. I have a holy right warrior. Next, Phone on him. I'm gonna get out of here. Who next? Uh, shield breaker. I tried. Godness. The godness? Yeah. They're moving away from the fort. Uh, I'm gonna go come out in the pack. No godness, no godness. I'm gonna bury her. Who next again? Uh, yeah, yeah. Murphy's Law, Murphy's Law. Half HP, half HP. Fully worrying. We just have to keep pushing them out of these circles. I think we go Vunak, 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 Vunak. Execute, execute, execute. I ulti Don Galvia. Eco, Eco, Eco. I think he's rescued. Yeah. I'm just gonna say, I'm he's down. Vunak, Vunak, quarter HP. Blinded. Stand Vunak, stay Vunak. She'll break her up. Can't get him to knock down. Can't get him knocked down either. Might be immune. Drop a circle on Galvia. Let's just target to get a new bone up. Murphy Slaw, Murphy Slaw. I'm going ham. Uh, Tyrannical is right there. Switch Tyrannical. I think he went invis or something. I lost him. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. on a brigand. Chase, chase Vunak. Chase, chase these guys. I'm gonna have roots on Vunak. Three seconds. Just need a leap, bro. That. I'll take E Red. Yeah, they're saving this, buddy. Oh, I just barely missed time that. I'm knocked down for life. Come on, Darren, get him. Vunak, Vunak? Yep. Nice job, you read? Vunak down. Oh, he. Devotion. Um, hopefully you'll find this useful for uh, watching profile videos and hopefully you guys will check out the profile stuff that's going to be coming out on my channel in the near future. Thanks for watching guys. See you soon.